Hi, I'm Frank, and you're watching HPI TV. Now I've got a hot tip for all you bullet bashers out there. Now as you know, the bullet has loads of suspension travel. Now what that means is, you can do lots of extreme bashing and huge big air jumps. Now if you watch the videos online, you can see that the best jumpers are able to land on all four wheels, like this. Now what that does is it spreads the landing force on all four wheels of the car, which is the best way to land. It's the safest thing. But if you're anything like me, you want to go for that last big air jump. And sometimes you get it a bit wrong, and you can land on one wheel, like this, which is not the best thing for the truck. So what you want to do is remove some of this excess suspension travel, and what that will do is it'll protect the truck and help you look after it, and it'll look after you when you're on the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to use nitro car fuel tubing to make simple bump stops. Okay, so we're ready to make our bump stops. Now, all you need is some fuel tubing, which you can get at any model shop, a safety cutting mat, a steel ruler, and a hobby knife. So you can get it, the fuel tubing in any color that you want. Um, this is uh, fairly plain. We're gonna use green, just so it's easier to see for the instructions. But you can also use pink or whatever color your model shop has. So what we're gonna do is very simple. I'm just gonna measure a five millimeter section of fuel tubing and then cut, just square across, and there we go. That's your first bump stop. So just to speed things along, I've already pre-cut the other seven pieces. So we've got all eight bump stops ready to install. So to get all these uh, bump stops on the truck, all you have to do just take a Phillips head screwdriver. It's very simple. You don't have to take off the entire shock. Just remove the bottom end. Set the screw aside somewhere safe. And then you have the shock. So we're just gonna pull the, uh, the spring down a bit and remove the spring perch. And then the shock, uh, the spring itself. Then we'll take uh, pair of pliers and very firmly hold the bottom end of the shock shaft and just twist off the the uh, the shock end there you go and then just fit on the bump stop and push it down just a bit and then grip it again thread on the shock end and just make sure you screw it down just to where the, the threads end on the shock. And then just reassemble the shock, very simple. Spring back on, spring perch on, and then just make sure that the spring perch is below the bump stop like so. So once we've got it assembled, we just put it back in position. Note that the um, the bullet uses the inside shock holes on the on the uh, suspension arms, not the outside. So just make sure you put them back in the same same location. Then screw it in all the way. Make sure everything's all right. Yeah, looks good. And then we do the other seven. I'll try to do it pretty quick. T-brake. <sighs> okay. Okay, there we are, all installed. And as you can see, we still have loads of suspension travel, and you can see all the bump stops fully in place. So what this simple modification has done is made your bullet tougher and more durable and even more ready to bash. So get out there and bash. Yeah.